<clears throat> All right, now listen, I mean, I've never posted anything that you can see 697,500 views on Facebook. I did this a couple years ago. So talking about taxes and, and oh my goodness, and the government and employees and what's happening, literally the guy breaks it down at the very end. You're being pimped if you just have a job and you never have a business. So please, seven minutes and 37 seconds, it could change your life. So check this out. $10. The next thing to understand is where do we get tax dollars from? Well, the easiest and the quickest way to get tax dollars is through payroll taxes. So the government over here is going to partner up with the entrepreneur, you, and they're going to give you all these tax breaks because they know if they give you tax breaks, you're going to take those tax breaks and grow your business. And when you grow your business, you're going to now take those tax breaks and hire more people. See how that works? Making your business more efficient, making your business more competitive in the marketplace, and giving you all these subsidies so you as the entrepreneur can have a better life because if they give you more money, you can employ more people. You might be thinking, why would they do that? Well, here's the game. If I employ one person, there's only payroll taxes coming from that one employee. And payroll taxes fund what? The system. And that's just one thing. We'll cover more in a second, okay? But also, too, if I employ 50 employees, the government can what? <coughs> Tax those 50 employees. See that? They don't want my one check from my income. If I make $10 million a year in my own business, you think they would hit me the hardest. No, they're not going to hit me. They're going to hit my 3,000 employees. Okay, why? Because my 3,000 employees are going to pay taxes every week, every two weeks. And the government says, Gary, you are what? The owner. We would like for you to take out of Joe's paycheck before he gets his hands on it because we don't trust the employee. He's a liability to the system. He's not an asset. Take out his paycheck through payroll taxes and hold that money in your account for a complete year you get all the interest on it. at the end of the year, you can pay the payroll taxes. So, for example, if I hire you and you work for me and I pay you $1,000 a week, and let's say you're in a 35% tax bracket, okay, I'm going to deduct $350 from your check. It's not the government. It's me. I'm taking $350 out of your check. You're going to take home $750 to your wife and your kids. I'm going to keep the 350 in my account because I don't have to send it to the end of the year. And it's going to draw interest in my account. And at the end of the year, I'm going to send your 350 times how many checks I gave you throughout the year. That's 52 weeks in a year. So I'm taking 350 times 52 weeks in a year. And I send that to the IRS. Now, I provide you with health care. I provide you with maybe a business expense account. I provide you with a lot of different things. But did you know at the end of the year, the IRS says, Gary, can you show me basically a P&L, profit and loss sheet, where the million dollars that your company made or the $10 million, can you show me that you spent that back into the business? And when I show the IRS that I actually made $10 million, but I put $900, or $9 million, should I say, of the $10 million into the business, the IRS says that you don't pay taxes on that $10 million, you only pay taxes on the million. Okay, now watch this. But what if I decide to employ my kids? What if I decide to take my daughter and make her an employee of my company and then give my daughter a scholarship funded by the company so she could further her education? Would her education be a tax write off? Interesting. What if I decide to employ my son and give my son a company car like your company does? Would that car be a tax write off? It's not his car. It's a company car. His boss happens to be his dad. What if I employ my wife and we go out to dinner tonight and we talk about our business, which we do all the time? Would that dinner be a write-off? I am having a meeting with my business partner, who happens to be my wife. See, folks, we understand how the government works. It's not to punish the entrepreneurs. They want you to be rich because they know you get rich, you do what? Like, for example, I'm in this big car here. There's luxury taxes. You know, when you live in a bigger house, you have bigger property taxes, which funds the schools, by the way. Okay? So the government wants you to be rich. They want you to become successful. And the rules are made to benefit the entrepreneur. 
And if you understand the tip I just gave you, you will become an entrepreneur. Now, here it is, okay? Here's some bad news. After I took out your check, $350, and you took on $750 to your spouse, assuming I paid you $1,000 a week gross, after I took out of your check, you take the $750, and your wife calls and says, honey, on the way home, can you please fill up the car for work tomorrow with gasoline? You stop by the gas station, and you pump $50 into your tank. Did you pay attention to the actual price of the gas? Because guess what? There's also what? Fuel taxes, again, that you have to pay. Now, mind you, you already paid taxes before I gave you your check. Your wife said, honey, by the way, fill up the gas tank. Also, stop by Walgreens because we're out of toilet paper. You know, we're out of pampers for the kids. Well, guess what? There's sales tax. So now think about this. You've been taxed twice already, not including the tax I took out off the top. You come home, your wife says, honey, what do you have left? Well, baby, I stopped by um, Walmart. I also stopped by uh, the gas station. I got some gas as well. So, okay, great. Give me the checks. So you give your wife what's left over. Let's say you have left over $690, all right, after you pay for gas in the car and stop by and get some toilet paper. Your wife takes the $600 and says, okay, honey, it's time to pay the bills. So now she pays your cell phone bill, right? She pays your electric bill your gas bill, and your home phone bill, and your cable TV bill, right? Because bills have to be paid. Look at the bill, folks. There's utility taxes on the same exact bill. You've been taxed again. That's your fifth tax. Then go on. Your wife says, okay, it's time to pay the mortgage, right? Guess what? You have property taxes embedded into your mortgage. You just pay taxes six times. Folks, you say, I want to start saving money. I want to send my kids to college. I'm going to put money in investment, which I think you should do that. Well, guess what? There's capital gain taxes because you put in 50 bucks a month, your journey to go to college, and all of a sudden, 50 bucks a month, $600 a year, you make a profit of 10%. <coughs> Let's say you have a profit of 60 bucks on your $600. Well, that's what? That's a capital gains. You pay taxes on that $60. Folks, what I'm telling you is the biggest pimp game in the world okay i know i use a really tough word there the biggest pimp game in the world is an employee you're right that's right folks slavery is still alive that's right slavery is still going as a matter of fact it's now even better because why no one is thinking it's slavery Come it's on. called debt mm. it's called debt and it's not based on skin color anymore i do believe there is some racism that still exists we see it all the time but folks, there's classism. Come on. You understand that? There's classism. Think about this, folks, during the Great Depression. All righty. So listen, what I want you to do is I want you, to, there's a uh, free book. Uh, go to www.freebookandtrialoffer.com. All right, freebookandtrialoffer.com. Uh, let's see, I was trying to pull that up for you. Free book and trial one of the best books is called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man. Um, let me see if I can pull this up for you real quick. I should have had this all set up, but it just hit me. You've got to get educated. See, the, the greatest, your, your greatest, um, oh, here it is right here. So the website, free book and trial offer.com. Free book and trial offer.com. This book, From the Trash Man to the Cash Man, goes in a whole lot more detail about what Gary Cormier was talking about. This is Myron Gold, a good friend of mine. And you can actually get the book free. You're just going to pay shipping and handling, but uh, you're also going to get a free um, uh, two weeks of his powerful, um, what we call, uh, uh, oh my goodness, what's it called? Christian, um, anyway, Bible Success Academy, rest. So yes, so every Sunday I have what's called a Kingdom Preneur Bible Success called 8 Central, 9 Eastern. And I teach on biblical principles as it relates to success. Um, this is going to be one of our guests here. So anyway, so I want you to go to freebookandtrialoffer.com. Check it out. Invest in your health. Listen, the man or woman who does not read is worse than a man or woman who cannot read. Why? Because you got a responsibility. you got something you can do and you're not doing it. So if you go to freebookandtrialoffer.com, get the follow-up to this, this information. Don't be left in the dark. Any financial principle that you do not know, those that know them are using them against you. So get educated so we can stop all this.
God bless you. It's Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough, with www.drbreakthrough.com.